In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I would like to welcome you all to participate in this Holy Mass and receive the blessings of God through the Holy Eucharist. Let us ask God's pardon and mercy that we may orderly participate in this Holy Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with the sincerity the bodily observances we undertake through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out, full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet bla blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek my day after day. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due to them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and do you not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes. Your fast ends quarreling and fighting, striking with a wicked claw. Would that day, would that today you might fast, so as to make your voice heard on high? Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance? That a man bow his head like a reed and lie in a sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This rather is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of your yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer and you shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response for your psalm, a response. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, 
you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and my sin cleanse me. A response, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. A heart, a response, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with the sacrifices. Should I offer a burned offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A response, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Gospel Acclamation Seek good and not evil so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and they will, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember a few years ago in Prescott, when I was in Prescott, someone told me I was, I was uh, a party blooper, a party booper. I don't know how to party. Yes, no one need to teach us how to party. We know how to party and feast and be happy and make ourselves happy and others happy. Uh, we know very well. But what we do not really know is how to fast, really. All that we hear about fasting is fasting of food or a meal or a chocolate or little things that uh, we can uh, easily do uh, on our daily, regular basis. But is that what the kind of fasting God is calling us to do during this uh, season of Lent. I think our first reading has a beautiful uh, teaching of God Himself. What kind of fasting He wants. Do you call this a fast, a day of acceptable to the Lord? No. This rather is the fasting that I wish. Releasing those bound unjustly untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not hurting your back on your own, sorry, and not turning your back on your own. Fasting is the things that we are um, holding on to, you know, fasting from the things that we are holding on to, uh, which are not actually helping us in our relation with, the, our relationship with God and our neighbor. 
those are the kinds of things God wants us to fast. Here are some guidelines from Pope Francis as well, how to fast. Fast from hurting words and say kind words. Fast from sadness and be filled with gratitude. Fast from anger and be filled with patience. Fast from pessimism and be filled with hope. Fast from worries and have trust in God. Fast from complaints and contemplate simplicity. Fast from pressures and be prayerful. Fast from bitterness. Fill your hearts with joy. Fast from selfishness and be compassionate. Fast from grudges and be reconciled. Fast from words be silent and listen. As dear friends, God is calling us not just a mere simple fasting of uh, little food for the sake of our diet, rather fasting from the unwanted things, uncharitable acts, immoral acts, immoral thoughts, all the things that we are holding on to and the things that are not allowing us to really be in good relation with God. Those are the things we need to fast during this season of Lent and uh, make an effort to come closer to God. May God help us in this process that uh, we may find help from God to, to stay courageous and uh, do everything that we can to come closer to God. God bless us all. Amen. God, our loving Father, we pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop Robert Dealey, our pastor for the Jim Lord, all the priests, all the deacons, all the lay ministers, may we always help your people to come closer to you faithfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all the people who are sick, who are in the hospitals, in the nursing homes, in the homebound and shut-ins, especially people who are affected with coronavirus, people who are undergoing surgeries, people who are recovering from surgeries. Lord, bless all the sick people. Touch them and heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all the young people who really have a longing desire to come closer to you. Lord, encourage them, fill them with hope and help them to find a way towards you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all the people who asked us our prayer. We remember them in a special way during this Mass. Kindly bless them and grant them their daily needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all the people who are deceased in our family and in our community. Especially we pray for Carlin Boucher, for whom we offer this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we have offered before you all our prayers and intentions. If they are according to your will, kindly grant us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mysteries of mingling of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and candid heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my inquiries and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers Add to our powers of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, and to hold rather to the things that end eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and was willingly entered into his passion, he took the bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection 
you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all the people who are participating in this Mass today. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, we remember and pray for Carlin Boucher, for whom we offer this Mass today. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Trace of Calcutta, St. Pope John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together let us pray to the Father, in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen let us pray We pray almighty God that through partaking of this mystery we may be cleansed of all misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord amen bow your heads and pray for God's blessing for your mighty deeds o god of mercy may your people offer endless thanks and by observing the age old disciplines along their pilgrim journey may they merit to come and behold you forever through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit amen this mass is ended go in the peace of christ thanks be to god Dear friends I would like to wish you all a beautiful day and have a wonderful weekend God bless you